Hey YouTube, what's up? Uh, there's a very common question about Flight Simulator X on how to get more frames. Um, oh yeah, how to get more frames while still having your FSX to look good. I have the perfect solution for that. You don't have to download anything really, and all you need is just a minute of your own time to change some settings. And here's all you have to do. First of all, what I want to show you guys is the normal settings that people put and how bad it kills your frames. And here's the settings right now. I have everything set to ultra high except for weather, really. And here's how many frames I'm getting. I'm over New York right now and I'm getting around 25 FPS. Everything is set to ultra high. Another extremely common question is how to turn off the uh, A321 flight, uh, how to make it move like this, which is normal, and right now I'm getting 15 FPS flying over the city, uh, just a quick thing right now, how to, how to make it move fast, all you really need to do is look up here, these are the flight computers, you want to set these switches to off, all three of them, they say flight control, you want to turn those off may want to turn them on though when the autopilot's on that's that that's what i do though i probably want to make a difference in the cockpit here i'm getting around 21 fps and here's the suggest and here's my suggested settings go to display graphics uh target frame rate i suggest you put that to 25 or 30 depending on your computer if you have a duo core let's say an AMD duo core or single core from Intel I say you put it to around 25 or so if you have a quad core from any one AMD or Intel I have a AMD Phenom quad core actually so I set mine to unlimited or I could just set it to 30 I'm a bit of a, a bit crazy about my FPS here and uh, my full screen resolution mine is 1440 by 900 32 bit um, the, I can't tell you guys what resolution you should have because everyone has a different computer screen. Filtering, antroscopic, anti-isling, you want to check that out. You want to check that, actually. Global texture resolution, you want to set that to very high. DirectX 10, uh, no, bad idea. Lens flare, you want to check that. Uh, light bloom, do not check that. Advanced animations, check that. Aircraft. Set it to medium high. It saves your frames, believe it or not. Medium high from ultra high. And another thing is, it doesn't look different from ultra high at all. It doesn't change anything. The only thing you don't see between medium high and ultra high is the sun's reflection on the plane, basically. You might want to check these two guys out this is your choice check everything you want here it doesn't really matter I although I do not suggest aircraft cast shadow on itself now here's the normal settings people want for their scenery which is what I just had set bad idea here is where all of it is at now your level of detail radius if you're getting bad frames you probably can't really get a huge radius so set that to small your mesh complexity, set that to 80. Alright, I'm doing that as well. I'll just use the arrow keys since it's pretty inaccurate. If this, if you have a problem with setting numbers, you can actually use the arrow key. And they go up by 1. 80. There we go. Mesh resolution, you could set that to 10 meters. 10M, I think that's meters. Texture resolution... You can have that set to 1M. It really doesn't look any different from 7 centimeters. You could have that set to 1M. <clears throat> Water effects. Um, you want to set that to 1X. Low 1X. It actually looks realistic. It doesn't look that bad. It's the only thing you're going to have to sacrifice is your water graphics. Land detail textures. You want to check that. Scenery complexity, very high. Autogen dense, don't cast, don't check ground scenery shadows. 
it's useless. You're really not going to look at the shadows. I, uh, I personally don't give a damn about them. Special detail effects, set that to high. Weather, just set the global settings to medium high. It doesn't look any different from ultra high. Traffic, that's your choice. Traffic doesn't make a, f a difference for with frames for me. I prefer not to have traffic because FSX traffic is just really annoying. And let's see the FPS increase. It's loading up. Okay. That's pretty fast, actually. <laughs> Considering that I changed everything. Okay. 74, 75... 100. Now, I'm in the cockpit view, and now I'm getting 40 FPS. Before I was getting around 20, between 15, 15 and 20. I'm on the outside view, and now I'm also getting 40 FPS. Let's unpause. And now I'm getting just around 30 FPS. And there you have it. Perfect frames in FSX. And it still looks good. Yeah, I'm just flying like a total moron, I know. Well, there you guys have it. Enjoy. <laughs>